are you injured or not? Hmm. Everything seems... Uh, something weird's going on at the back here though. He doesn't have much air. I think actually something's going on at the back. It doesn't look like he's moving his back end at all. So I'm not sure if there's a... Um, there's a break, unfortunately. He, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see, not sure exactly where, but um, somewhere around, I think where my pinky is there, my pinky finger. Bugger. Just got this keel back here. Yeah, I can feel he's been run over on the back end. I think he's got a broken back, so we're just here at the... Uh, Animal Emergency Service in Tanawa. These guys are always helping us out. And we'll probably have to put this guy to sleep, unfortunately. We've just arrived here in Tanawa. Um, Wendy, a lovely lady, has pulled over. She's seen a, a poor lizard struggling a little bit. It's a big male eastern water dragon. Now, he's got a bit of blood on his nose. Hey, blood. How are you going? Oh, you're not in a good way, are you? So... Oh, you poor thing. I have seen them survive before. Um, like crush injuries and stuff, but... Yeah, we're just going to have to take him to a wildlife hospital. He's got use of all his limbs, but obviously, yeah, you can see the blood coming out. He's definitely been run over. We'll get you into this cold road. Here we are back again at the Animal Emergency Service in Tanawa. Another injured reptile. We've got this uh, large male water dragon. So, uh, yeah, going to get him some help and checked out. And fingers crossed he'll be okay. All right, it's 1 a.m. Uh, we've just arrived at another rescue in Marichu along the main motorway. A lovely lady is uh, volunteered to stop by this snake and keep an eye on it till we get there, which is awesome. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, bugger. Ah, oh, bugger. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Yeah. No, that's not good. Yeah, we'll have to, unfortunately, um, get him euthanized, so. Unfortunately for that uh, calf with python, yeah, we had to euthanize it. Um, so he's in a better place now. It's been a night of rescues with the water dragon as well. Now this python. Just please be careful, guys, when you're on the roads. And uh, yeah, obviously give us a call any time if you need a, a snake rescued or relocated. G'day mate. Wesley's back. From Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's had a good holiday away. Back to work, but we're here at a resort in Makula. Apparently there's a snake in the main foyer. Just That's it, just behind the wall. See it. Mate, I'll see the back end of it. Not sure what he is. Is it the best No. So these guys are often mistaken for brown snakes, but it's actually a little varax skink or a three-clawed worm skink, so it's not actually a snake. Oh, really? Yeah, but I'll show you close up, but they're so hard to tell the difference. They're so delicate too, I've got to be careful here. I don't want to, because they can drop their tail. Mm. Death roll. Death roll. <laughs> so if you guys come over, look, I'm going to be super, super it looks gentle. Like one, eh? Bloody oath it does, but you see those little tiny little legs? Oh, yeah. Crazy, hey. You're yeah, right, bud. All right, I won't stress him out too much because he's death rolling like a crocodile, this little fella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, a nice little covered area. Pretty cute little things. All right, bud, I'll let you go, you little worm wiggler. There you go, hide under there. Uh, the family have seen something brown move into their pantry which is an ideal not sure what it is it was uh, obviously a snake like shape it was on the ground you think yeah it was on the it was on a box around the back left did you see it move yeah yeah no it's yeah okay what color was it dark brown okay Grouse black maybe 
So right. I was like, oh, it was like a... No, there was just a, um, it was like a, which I thought was a snake, but it's not. Um, looks like kind of like a shoelacey kind of thing. Oh, no, don't tell me. Tell me, if that, is that what you saw? Is that not a snake? No, that black thing there. Oh, my God, that's not a snake. No. <laughs> Is that what you saw? I think, well, I hope not. I'll check that area anyway. It definitely was something that moved. Oh no. No, it's, it's right next to it though. You oh def God. There you go, I'm starting to doubt you then. It's not a snake. What? It's a tiny little skink, which is super hard oh, to no. bloody. Yeah, crazy. but... It was literally right underneath that black... Um, yeah, because it was across the timber. The black sort of shoelace looking thing. I'll take a photo of him. Oh well, we saved my day anyway. No, that's a relief. At least we found something. Got this gorgeous little fella here. Just a bit of ground cover and stuff for him. Hey, you're right. Off you go. Out of the pantry. Back into the bush. Oh, g'day, mate. How you going? Um, yeah, so we just got a job from the big Wesley. He's called us up and said that there's a black snake in a house just down the road from us in Burpengary. There's been a few cruising around at the moment. Um, we got a call for a couple of different times yesterday for black snakes in houses. So um, we'll go see what this one is. Hey, how you going? Good. Thanks, Captain. Yep. <laughs> I'm Mick, by the way. Nice <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's legit right behind the inside of that box. Oh, yeah. Cool. Out and what is it? Perhaps you can go in and have a look. Not sure yet. Yeah, he, he, it's a little one, but we have like animals. We have like two cats and two dogs, so we Yeah. Like, we weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is? Is it tree snake? Um. It. Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, a little common tree snake. Hey, buddy. Well, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, um, did we call it brown snake? Yeah, my sister, my, no, my sister was a kid. We caught a brown snake, mm -hmm. and um, it had like life on it. Yeah. And just a tiny bit of red. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, well, well that's well. There you go. I don't know anything about snakes. Yeah. But it was a dangerous one that they caught. Oh, there's the little oh, fella. That's a great, it's great, it's great. Yeah, yeah, so they're very dark on top. And when they don't move, they just look dark and black. But then as soon as they start moving, they you can see all those blue house? flecks. Because we hardly ever, you know. Yeah, so there might have been a time where they can actually squeeze through doors like that sometimes. Yeah. Those, you know um, what? You those know mesh what? doors. I've seen it like at the corner of my eye and it just... It just took off and I was like, ah, there's a snake. I was yeah. like, oh, you're kidding. They're not likely to have any more. It's, they're pretty solitary snakes. Nah, so that, that'd that be a couple of years old, even at that yeah. size. Yeah, when, when they first um, hatch out, they're absolutely tiny. Right, oh, we've just found a nice little patch of bush for this bloke to go into. So we'll get this little blighter back out into his natural environment. Come on, little fella. There he is. He's a buddy, good looking little tree snake. Hey. Settle down. Stop whipping around. I want to say goodbye. <laughs> Righto, we've just found a nice patch of bush for this bloke to go and live in, so he'll um, live out his days, hopefully, away from people. Here you go, little fella. Back out in the bush.